Merry Christmas, everyone. The Green Dog of Wisdom, aka James, here, back with another video. Today I'll be opening up Nirvana's self titled greatest hits compilation on exclusive limited edition smoke colored vinyl from Walam Rat. And I'm really excited because I don't have any Nirvana records at all. So let's get right into this, shall we? At this point, I'm Ashley's Jr. because this is twice, twice in a row of a video for me to use my floating hands and my blue bed instead of a brown sofa, so maybe I'm just great value actions. In a previous take, I just opened just a bit of this, as you can see. I will have to say that the jacket is a bit thinner than some of these other releases, but that isn't necessarily a bad thing, though. Because a lot of the older records were like that, too. Come on. Is me opening these records ASMR to you guys? Like with the with the sounds and stuff. Actually, I'm not like whispering or doing, you know, the, uh, you know, like the finger tapping on the record or anything. So, not really. Because it would be like partial ASMR. Okay, there we go. Let's see here. We have one insert here. I don't think this is the sleeve. No, it isn't the sleeve. It's on an it's not it's in an anti-static sleeve. Yes. That's awesome. And then you can see here talks about uh the first song on this album. They performed it a few times. Uh, before they actually recorded it, recorded it, sorry. On Sunday, January 30th, 1994, Kurt Cobain walked into Robert Lang Studios, Northern Seattle, and recorded the first song on this album. It would be Kurt's final session with Nirvana, and he made it count. He was also late. Huh, that's, uh, interesting. Let's look at the record, shall we? I love this. I just love the fact that they gave it an anti-static sleeve instead of a paper sleeve. I've also seen paper sleeves where it's like anti-static too, like they have the polyline, uh, they're polyline. So this is side one. This is side two. I think this is a heavier vinyl. I think this might, not necessarily 180 gram, but, uh, definitely has a bit more weight to it. Oh, I kind of like this, too. On one side, it has David Geffen Records logo and then Sub Pop. Then on the other side, it has the David Geffen Records logo, but next to it is the MTV Unplugged song, or the logo, I mean. So at the end of this record, it has uh, the man who sold the world. That is the... Uh, that is the MTV Unplugged uh, song on here. I think uh, Sliver. Is, yeah, Sliver and About a Girl, I think. Yeah, I know About a Girl is on their first album on the Sub Pop label, but I'm not sure if Sliver is too. I think it might be on Nevermind. I'm not sure. So seven tracks on each side, I believe. Yeah, seven tracks. But this does look very well made. And look, I can see through it. Wait, did my nose get bigger? I don't know. I thought it did for a second, but... I guess the... The record distorted it. And I can see through... A bit in the inner groove. As well as the lead-in groove. I can kind of see... Clearly in it. Yeah, this is a really nice looking album, I gotta say. I like the packaging of this album too. It's very simple, and sometimes less is more. And that's a perfect example of it. 
thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hope you guys have a really good Christmas as well as a happy new year. See ya.